O'Connell with Ferris on his shoulder. All very slow and deliberate from Ireland. O'Gara, O'Driscoll, maybe he can spark a little bit of life. Tries to offload and eventually he finds his way to Jamie Heaslip. He's not going to do it again, is he? Heaslip, almost there. Please, Just held please, up. Please about three yards short of the Italian line, but plenty of opportunity for Ireland to score out wide as Donegal Callahan Ray comes Ray back Ray inside. Ray and Italy scramble back in defence. No. But terrific pace once more from Heaslip. Gordon Darcy. Tommy Bow. Again, desperate Italian defending. Collective intake of breath slowed down by the Irish pack. He slipped put to ground by two Italian defenders. On the pressure comes from Ireland. On comes David Wallace. Ronan O'Gara will tag on a certain two. He does. Flannery. Barges his way into the Italian 22. Here's Paul O'Connell. O'Leary called back the other way by O'Gara and O'Driscoll. And O'Gara claims the ball and pushes O'Driscoll away. Penalty comes again. Hands on the floor from the Italians. And they are giving away far too many now. it sweetly and over it goes Tony Olati now Holy and six, his Holy kick wait, wait, wait. will be okay. eventually retrieved by Ronan O'Gara here's Rob Carney Carney not confident you can see in the step off that leg and just as I say that Jordan Murphy removes the tracksuit and I presume it'll be Carney he'll replace Gordon Darcy Got to by Garcia and Zani. Quick service from Stringer for Paul O'Connell, who muscles his way through two or three tacklers. Leamy ignored as an offload option. Here's O'Gara, and this is better from Ireland. And Wallace has men outside. David Wallace for Rob Carney, who comes back inside. And Luke Fitzgerald all but throws his hands up to say, why not pass to me? Brian O'Driscoll, Ronan O'Gara, Mirko Bergamasco up to make the tackle. The gap was there, Ireland didn't take advantage. Paul O'Connell, who set them on their way yet again, presents the ball. Ireland have numbers out wide. Jamie Heaslip, Heaslip away. Jamie Heaslip looking for the offload, and Carney was hit before he had the ball, retaliates, but now goes back to his own side. Stringer the ball, the ball. looks one way, then Let the other. Go. Let it go now. And goes down the short side, David Wallace. Carney offered himself, John Hayes inside. Another couple of yards for Ireland. This is better. Bow for Carney. Just didn't have enough room to work in. But a terrific offload from Tommy Bow. Stringer again. Peter Stringer. Festuccia gets to him. Possession secured for Ireland. We saw a little bit of this at the end of the first half. What resulted was a try. Patience once more required as Donico Callahan goes and Ireland smuggle the ball back again. Stringer eventually back on his feet, having been at the bottom of the last rook. Forwards seem to want to take it on themselves as Court goes in to do the clear out job and Rory Best picks. Then David Wallace gets stopped just about three meters short, but the penalty is coming towards the tail and Ireland don't find their man and away come the Italians and Marco Bergamasco makes a bit of a hash of the clearance but the Irish heads drop but they take it quickly and Gordon Darcy might just have created something a little bit special with Luke Fitzgerald well it looked like the opportunity was gone but some quick thinking from Fitzgerald and Darcy out on that far side and the Italians took their eye off them and you simply can't do that. On its way, and it's good. And every point counts, and Ireland have 31 of them. After 76 minutes, it's Italy 9, Ireland 31. 
will restart and Malcolm O'Kelly goes to try and claim but doesn't and I think it was who took the ball back on the Italian side Nassi and O'Driscoll interception for Brian O'Driscoll and there's no one at home and it's try number five and O'Driscoll gobbles it up and says thank you very much and Ireland are away and clear and a second interception on the day and the scoreboard looks very healthy from an Irish perspective now O'Gara adds the conversion and what was 31-9 is now 38-9 Tommy Bowe was alive and alert because Griffin didn't make touch and Bo noticeably following the flight of that ball as he always should but so many times it goes out over your head you'd be forgiven in the final moment for not paying attention but Bo watched it and claimed it and Ireland have the ball back and this should be the final action of the game well it is the season pro looking up at the clock and seeing it had just gone over the 80 and Ireland come away from Rome with five tries.